I love solving those integral problems where a small trick or clever manipulation can simplify the entire expression almost instantly. So this is one of those problems. In the numerator, we have sine x minus a as its angle. And in the denominator, we have x plus a as angle of sine. Now, if we observe, we have x plus a in the denominator. We can also turn this expression x minus a into something. So that, that gives us x plus a. So let us write it as sine x plus a minus 2a divided by sine x plus a dx. Now in the numerator, now if we observe x plus a minus 2a is x minus a only. Now in the numerator, we can use trigonometric identity, which is sine a minus b is equal to sine a cos b minus cos a sine b. Instead of capital A, we have x plus a and instead of capital B, b we have 2a. So numerator becomes sine x plus a cos 2a minus cos x plus a sine 2a. And uh, along with writing the identity, we also split the integral into two integrals by writing the denominator separately below each term in the numerator. So in the first term sine x plus a is cancelled and we are left with cos 2a. So this gives us cos 2a is constant integral dx minus in the second integral sine 2a is constant and we are left with cos x plus a upon sine x plus a. To simplify this integral we can use standard integral formula of cot or we can also use substitution put sin x plus a is equal to t so that gives us cos x plus a dx is equal to dt so the, uh, first term integral of dx is x so first term becomes x cos 2a minus sin 2a and sin x plus a is t cos x plus a dx is dt that gives us integral dt upon t which is ln mod t plus c. So when we substitute the value of t, we get the final answer as x cos 2a minus sin 2a ln mod sin x plus a c.